Hi, my name is Alessandro Gangelosi and that's a video tutorial coming from cgcookie.com for Mac Cookie. In this tutorial we go back to talk about some new feature from three, uh, FilmFX 3, uh, the new version. And this time we'll talk about the end sim. The end sim is a really nice new uh, feature and uh, uh, it gives us the possibility to uh, create simulation of nested grids so we have the possibility to create nested grids when we need uh, a really big grid and we can um, avoid the problem to have a really too much big grid uh, so we'll have slower time for the uh, calculation and the simulation uh, let's make an example uh, so that's our main grid and let's imagine that we are uh, working to create a bigger simulation of a smoke that is going, for example, from there to there. We have the possibility, uh, let's make an example. Let's imagine that we have uh, some emitter. I'm oh, sorry. So I am redoing from zero. So let's imagine that we have this simple source there and we have another source in this way there uh, in this case for example we should have let's go for film effects we should have something like that and let's go down and we'll have something like that obviously it will be higher and more higher like this to make the simulation with both this uh, decimeter there is a new way and it is simpler and that's the usage of the end sim and uh, to do this we'll create let's imagine uh, something like have a master grid and the master grid will be this one for example there and then we need uh, two grids to uh, merge and overlap the others so we can imagine to have for example this one and the others there obviously uh, we can imagine to have this one higher so we can simulate the same thing and this will be uh, the simplest way to create a, a space that will have less simulation uh, voxel grids and we can obtain the same level of quality and better too because we can use uh, a smaller uh, grid the, uh, we have to check some stuff and uh, first of all is uh, first of all I'd like to make it a little bit bigger and higher okay so we need uh, to have uh, an axis overlapping with the same uh, axis so we don't need to have um, a rotation and the axis must be aligned so what I do is to align this one to this one and we don't align over the y-axis and I do the same to have a good quality uh, with this one so let's align over the x-axis okay and this one will be there for example so we'll have this one in the middle and 
and it will be not so big, something like that. And this one can be aligned to this one. And we'll move it. And it will be not so big. This one will have an higher uh, speed. Let's say maybe four. Okay, then what we have to do is to select the first one. This one will be the master, so the main. And uh, we have some possibilities. The first of all is to say that we like in the simulation panel use for and sim. So we set to on this one and we say that this one is the master grid. The master grid is the main grid and can control all the parameters for the simulation and can sync the parameters with the other grid. You see that there you have some option to uh, uh, sync the data and the first one is the possibility to sync uh, which channels are going to be simulated so then we have the possibility to sync the list of the exported channel then we have the possibility to sync the general parameters tab then the simulation parameters obviously we are talking about all the parameters we have there we have the wavelet Trans, uh, the um, sorry, uh, the wavelet uh, um, information that can be synced. Then we have the rendering parameters and the shader parameters and the illumination parameters. Let's say that we like to control everything from this one from the master grid, so we can activate everything. Okay. Then. Uh, we have to say to use the others because in this case if we say to simulate we'll have nothing because we are not saying to use the other grid so we select the other grid for example this one and we say in the simulation that it will be used for NAND sim and we set to on all the parameters I use the first one selected and then with, in, with the shift key I press it on the last one so we have everything then we'll do the same for the other and we go in simulation, use for and sim, select the first one and using the uh, shift key for to select all these steps. Then we like to say to use these and in the other we'll say to use this one. Let's rotate. Okay. You see that if I select this one we have no simulation if we select the other we have the still the same problem because we are using it for the end sim so we are not able to do the simulation but if we select the master grid we have the simulation so let's go there and let's say to make a simulation it is simulating now you see that we have something there we have to check this one you see that it is entering now obviously there we have the gravity so we are not able to see so much okay let's see the preview for the smoke channel and also the fire and I like to see for fire and smoke too also there and fire smoke too also there okay let's select everything so we can see the simulation you see that the simulation is moving from one to the other one obviously to have this one working better we have to choose this one and say that we are using a higher speed so for example 8 let's say that we have more frames 200 and we select the master grid and we say to use 200 frames there so let's try to simulate again it is obviously really fast you see that the smoke is entering from the first one then we have also the other smoke entering there obviously we should need 
more space there to have the simulation, but it's not a big problem. And you see that now the smoke are colliding all together in one big simulation. Let's wait for the final. Okay. Let's select this one, this one, and this one. And let's see the simulation. You see that we have all the stuff all together. Now the problem is that there we have to say to play until frame 200. Select both and playing together. We have to say the same to this one. And this one too. So then we can select again everything. And you see that we have the simulation working perfectly. So uh, you see it's a really interesting way because uh, we, uh, we should create a bigger area there to make the simulation but in this case we have the possibility to use less grid so a faster simulation and obtain the same quality and that's really really nice let's go back in film effects let's go in the simulation grid there and that's our preview so that's the new feature uh, talking about uh, simulation grid it's important also to remember that the uh, overlapping must be minimum 10% in another case you'll have uh, wrong uh, area for the simulation there so it's better to be really precise and uh, uh, I think that for the moment that's all uh, maybe we'll try to use this feature uh, really soon on a, on a complete tutorial so for the moment that's all and I hope to see you back on Max Cookie to check for new tutorial coming from cgcookie.com. Bye.